Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for joining me today. So today I have a time lapse for you um, of a drawing that I finished in April for the Patreon members. So this project is available on there for the $4 tier, completely in real time. And today in this time lapse, I'm going you to talk you through drawing this cat with pastel pencils in black and white tones, in gray tones. And this is a super good way to practice um, your pastel drawing skills. It's also a really good way to get started with pastels if you've never used them before, because you only have to get these five colors and a piece of pastel mat. And then you can basically start with a very low budget. So very good way to get started, but also to improve your pastel drawing skills and to learn how to see color or how to see value and contrast. And we're also going to be sketching the cat completely freehand, so no tracing, no no grids. Um, this is a very good way to improve your freehanding as well. And freehanding is so important if you want to improve your drawing skills in general. So let's get started. So I'm using pastel mat five by seven inches and only five pencils. So I'm going to do the sketch first and I like to do the sketch with a pencil that is slightly lighter than the background color. So I'm picking this medium toned gray to do this sketch with. And of course, in the tutorial, I explain this completely real time and you can uh, draw along with me, but in this video, I'll just uh, talk you through it quickly. So what I like to do with the sketch is first imagine where I want the head of the animal to be in the picture. So you can see that the head is in uh, the top half. So I imagine that first and then I put down small lines of where I want the left cheek to end and where I want the right cheek to end. And then I start sketching the basic shape of the head in between those lines. So I started off with a very basic shape of the head, that oval shape. And I kept in mind that he has his head slightly tilted. Um, so that the eyes are also on a diagonal line. So I keep that in mind as well when I do the sketch. And then when I had the oval shape of the head down, I could do the chest based on that and the back line that you see. And then finally the ears and the eyes and the muzzle area. So the eyes are always difficult to place when you're drawing cats because when the eyes are off, when something's off, the whole drawing is off. So I feel with cats that is especially difficult because it's so hard to get the eyes completely the same. So I spend quite a lot of time on the eyes. I spend a lot of time on placing them right. So they have to be on the same line as the ears basically. So if you trace that line down from the inside of the ears, you get about the area where you have to place eyes and I sketched them and then when I started to do the coloring I, sp I started with black to outline the eyes and when I start the coloring I do not trust my sketch completely. I keep looking at the reference and uh, just adjust my black outline a little bit. So I take that very slowly, it doesn't look like it but I spend quite a lot of time on getting the eyes right. And um, then when I had the shape of those ready, I could start with the iris and the values in there. And um, so, yeah, the sketch was definitely the most difficult thing about this drawing, but it's really good to practice. So I chose this photo because he has a lot of different tones in the fur. So you have the very dark patches on the back and on the head but also the nice white fur on the chest and that both the dark and white will really show up nicely when you use a toned background like pastel matte. And this way you also learn how to look at those values and how to uh, place them right and how to get the right contrast in the drawing. And the right contrast in the drawing is going to determine your realism. So if you have the darks in the right place and the lights in the right place, and the darks are dark enough and the lights are light enough, that will make your drawing like 3D. So that is super important. So for the fur on the head, I like to start out with a base tone, so a medium tone. Um, 
that I just put down in a nice light layer so with not too much pressure and then I can do the dark patches on top you that you can see you could see some uh, dark stripes on the forehead but also some lighter hairs on top of that so when you start with a medium base layer you can still add those dark patches and you can um, then get a light tone like white or light gray to draw all, all the light hairs on top so that's a nice strategy that I use when I uh, draw fur like this with many different tones in it. Then for the ears, I basically did the same. So I started off with a medium tone on the inside of the ears. And then I could draw all those small white hairs coming out from the inside of the ear with my white pencil. And for sharpening, by the way, I use my Faber-Castell Color Grip Sharpener that I really enjoy for all my pencils basically but it does work really well as well for the pastel pencils they are sometimes a little bit hard to sharpen it. and then i make sure to get a new sharpener about once every new drawing because if the sharpener gets dull the pencils will break all right so i basically worked my way around the head the same way for the chest, I used a light gray as a base tone, but not white. So when you do white fur, you basically start off a little darker than you want the fur to be. So I never use a pure white base layer for that. I start off with gray and then you can do all the white little hairs, the white details on top of that. That way you still get some nice depth in the white fur. And if you start off with white right away, it becomes really hard to do any detail on that. So for the back, I did that quite quickly. Um, I started off with the dark gray for the base layer, but then I filled in the dark black stripes with black as well. And I didn't completely copy the reference photo, but I did try to look at uh, the differences in tones, made sure that the stripes were about um, the same shapes as on the reference, but I didn't really copy it. And when I had the dark base layers of that down, I could draw all the light little hairs on the fur uh, with my lighter pencils. And then finally, it was time for the whiskers with, that I did with white. Um, you have to do those very carefully and with quick motions, sharp pencils to make sure that the lines get nice and straight and not wiggly. So I did that finally and then the drawing was finished. So it did take me about two and a half hours to create, but for me that's not very long. So it is um, just an anatomy study and really good practice. So if you want to learn this too, have a look at my Patreon. It's available for only $4 and you get access to all the other tutorials as well, of course. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And then I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.